going to tell you in this video how you can get your Starlink equipment ahead of everybody else. You don't have to be on the waiting list. So stay tuned and I'm going to tell you how to do that. Hi, this is Richard from uh, YOLO RV Adventure. Thank you for watching. First, let's talk about Starlink. Uh, Starlink is a uh, satellite service that gives you instant in most of the country. It's uh, being done by Elon Musk. He has about uh, three or four or five hundred um, satellites in the air. There are going to be more. So there's not service in all areas. Uh, you may be in an area where there's service, but there may not be enough ports in order to plug into. So I'm going to tell you how to get around that as well. Uh, Starlink just uh, announced yesterday on uh, uh, March 23rd or 22nd that due to uh, excessive levels of inflation, uh, that the price of Starlink kit, which is the antenna and the modem, uh, is going to increase from $499 to $549 for those of you that are already on the list and have made a deposit or for new people coming in it's going to be $599 for any new orders and that's effective immediately. Um, it's still at that price. I think it's, uh, it's a heck of a deal. In addition, the monthly service charge, which was $99, is being raised to $110, $11 more. Again, I think it's well worth uh, uh, the money. Uh, the sole purpose of the adjustments is to keep play, uh, pace with uh, rising inflation. And uh, they're launching new satellites all the time. Every time Elon Musk launches a satellite, uh, a, uh, a rocket, I think there's something like 90 satellites attached to it. So we'll be, uh, service will be ubiquitous. So when you order your kit, uh, what you will get in the box is very simple. You will get a modem, and that modem will sit uh, inside your rig, uh, plugged into the AC. Uh, out of that modem is another plug, which is a micro mini type plug, but I think it's proprietary with Starlink and that is attached to a 75 foot uh, cable which they provide uh, which is attached to the dishy. I don't know why they call it dishy but it's, it's not a dish but it is a flat antenna and that antenna uh, sits on a uh, tripod that is provided as well. Now the tripod can be used to be bolted down uh, you can put it anywhere you want. Uh, the higher uh, that it is, the better uh, the signal because there are less um, obstructions. Uh, I have mine right now on the ground, as you can see, and uh, I'm getting great reception. I put it on the roof of the car. Uh, I have not yet put it on the roof of my RV because it's just difficult and dangerous to get up there. But I found that as long as I have a clear view of the sky, uh, there's no problem in getting the signal. Besides putting it on the ground or on top of the car or a little higher uh, and you don't want to put it on the roof, uh, you can buy a telescoping pole and uh, attach it to your rear ladder or uh, however you attach things. Some I've seen some people have a flag holder that's in their uh, trailer hitch and they put a, a pole in it and you can buy from Starlink in their store and there's a store in the app uh, the adapters that are necessary to mount it and have the mounting hardware. One of the things also to be aware of is that, that there is a new uh, dishy out. The dishy they're sending now is the upgraded one which is uh, rectangular. The, the round one was a little heavier and a little larger and this one is a little more compact. Also the other change they made with the new version is the uh, modem does not have any ethernet connections. So if you want to connect it to say a PEP wave, um, you can buy an adapter and the adapter will then uh, be able to wirelessly uh, connect to the, uh, to the PEP wave because the PEP wave won't pick up your uh, Starlink on a wireless basis, but for $25 or something like that, you can buy the adapter. Uh, when you get the signal, you have to set your service address, and the service address is where you are. 
So if you're in a particular place in the service address uh, where uh, service is not available, then you have to start putting in uh, GPS coordinates. Instead of using the GPS code, you can use the plus code which is provided by Google. So just cut and paste that uh, plus code and put it in your um, uh, location and it will tell you whether there is service available or there is service not available. Uh, everything is operated mostly from the app and the app has a number of screens uh, that are um, Okay, I think I, in my opinion, I think they have a long way to go to um, to get the app to to be a little more user friendly, but it's not too too bad. And the app has a number of pages. Uh, once you're online, you'll get an online uh, page, and it'll tell you online. It'll also have a speed a button so you can check your speed, check your up speed and your down speed. I found it to be very very fast. Uh, you'll uh, also be able to see what your latency is. Uh, there's a, on the same page, uh, there is a settings uh, 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 button that you hit, and it will um, t give you the ability to stow your uh, antenna, your dishy. I don't know why they call it that, <laughs> your dishy. And you'll be able to stow it uh, when you are done with the service. And you hit stow, and the antenna will automatically reposition itself in a stowed position, and then you can put it uh, wherever you're going to stow it in your in your rig. Uh, it also has a has another setting, uh, another page actually, which is um, uh, a support page, and there's your account and your orders and your billing and your networking, and there's also one called set up and install, and then there's all the questions uh, that on how to install it and what the what your problems might be. There's also another setting uh, in uh, in your settings which is um, uh, called um, uh, visibility. There's a button that's visibility and what you do is that, uh, if you're having a problem finding your signal you take this visibility um, on your on your phone uh, on your uh, on the app on the phone and you um, uh, you scan the sky so it's a, I can't demonstrate it right now, but you just take your iPhone and you scan the sky and you'll see all the satellites and all the blips and it'll show you and then it'll tell you whether you are, have a clear view, enough of a view of the sky. Sometimes when I put my uh, dishy on the ground in front of the coach, uh, if the satellites are in the, uh, in the in a southern sky and my coach is blocking it, I may not get a good signal. So you can try one error. It's pretty easy, it's pretty simple. So now the bonus. When you go into Starlink and you put in your home address, which is your location at that particular time, it will tell you uh, whether you can get a dish or not. So I live in, in, uh, in South Florida in the Palm Beach Gardens area, and when I put in six or seven months ago my location, uh, they said uh, no service available until July or August of 2022, and I did this back in September or October of 2021. And I waited and I waited and I kept checking and I kept saying, you know, you have to put a $99 deposit down, and they hold the deposit. And uh, when uh, uh, ports open up and slots open up, then they say they're going to ship and send to you. Well, I found a trick. The trick is, when you put in your location, put in something rural. I found a place in Utah, out in the middle of nowhere. I, I found a town in Utah, I put that town in, I, I found an address, you know, 123 Main Street in, in uh, East Podunk, Utah, with the zip code, and I put it in, they said, up, oh, service available. And then I was immediately able to sign up, and I, I have two addresses then. I have the location, which was Utah, and then I have my mailing address and the shipping address, which happened to be in Florida. Bingo. Within a week, I received my kit. So I hope you uh, uh, have the, use that tip and you can get your device right away. So when you are moving around the country, you have to change your location. Now, if you get to a location and there's no service, you have they say the search within 10 or 15 miles of where you are. And if you find a spot, you might be able to get service. Well, 
I was in Central Florida. I got service, and then I went up to Georgia near Atlanta, and there was no service available. There were no ports. In other words, there were too many people online. But I put the service address back in Florida, and I was 300 miles away, and I still got great service. I got great uh, upload speeds, great download speeds, and uh, it was amazing. And then I moved, I went from Atlanta, from South, uh, South Atlanta uh, to Northern Atlanta up near Stone Mountain. Again, I used my service address that I had already used in Lake City, Florida, which was 300 miles away, and it worked perfectly. So there is a workaround to be able to get your equipment if you're in an area which does not have any service openings. So if you're in a large metropolitan city, uh, you may have a problem, but in the rural areas of the country, there certainly is the ability to get it and get it fast. So all in all, this is a pretty good solution. Uh, very fast internet all over the country. I know it's been frustrating for those of us who are in uh, not uh, more populated areas and go into rural areas, and especially boondocking. This is really, really good. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere, the Starlink is the solution. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, put the comments below. And please subscribe. And if you'd like to see future videos, hit that notification button. And you'll get notified the next time I put a video up. And please give me a comment below. Uh, and uh, any questions you might have, uh, I check my comments and I will respond. Thank you and have a great day and see you on the road. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and give us a thumbs up.